There's nothing wrong with me. Maybe there's something wrong with the universe. For more than half a century, Star Trek has captivated viewers with its rich storytelling. Throughout its history, the show has delivered numerous unforgettable episodes that showcase its brilliance. From innovative sci-fi ideas to poignant character developments, the following 10 episodes stand out as prime examples of the series' excellence. Today, we are going to discuss five groundbreaking Star Trek episodes that tackled social issues. Number 1. The City on the Edge of Forever The City on the Edge of Forever stands as the penultimate episode of the inaugural season of the renowned American sci-fi series, Star Trek. Crafted by Harlan Ellison, with contributions from Stephen W. Carabazzos, D.C. Fontana, and Gene L. Kuhn, the episode underwent final revisions by Gene Roddenberry. Directed by Joseph Pevney, it premiered on NBC on April 6, 1967, with a repeat airing on August 31, 1967. In this gripping tale, Dr. Leonard McCoy, portrayed by DeForest Kelly, accidentally administers himself a dangerous drug, leading him to transport to an enigmatic planet while under its influence. Captain Kirk, played by William Shatner, along with Spock, Leonard Nimoy, embarks on a rescue mission, encountering the Guardian of Forever, a sentient time portal. McCoy's actions in the past significantly alter history, imperiling the existence of the Federation of Planets. Kirk and Spock pursue him to 1930s New York City to rectify the damage. Amidst their mission, Kirk finds himself drawn to Edith Keeler, Joan Collins, a compassionate soup kitchen operator envisioning a future akin to theirs. Spock deduces that to preserve their timeline, Keeler must perish, leading them to reluctantly allow her demise by an oncoming truck. The episode concludes with Kirk grappling with the weight of their decision. City on the Edge of Forever garnered immense critical acclaim, often hailed as the pinnacle of the Star Trek franchise. Reviewers lauded its poignant narrative and tragic conclusion. The episode clinched prestigious accolades, including the Writers Guild of America Award for Best Episodic Drama on Television, Ellison 1967, and the Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation, Ellison and Pevney 1968. During the franchise's 30th anniversary, it was hailed as the top Star Trek episode. The City on the Edge of Forever consistently earns high rankings in various lists of the best Star Trek episodes. In a special issue of Entertainment Weekly in the fall of 1994, it clinched the number one spot in a thorough ranking of all 79 episodes. The article praised its cosmic themes, compelling performances, and emotionally impactful conclusion, dubbing it the ultimate epitome of Star Trek excellence. Number 2. The Measure of a Man The Measure of a Man is an episode from the second season of Star Trek The Next Generation, first aired on February 13, 1989. It was written by Melinda M. Snodgrass, a former attorney turned novelist for the original Star Trek series. The episode follows the crew of the Starship Enterprise D in the 24th century, focusing on Lieutenant Commander Data, an android officer. Data's rights are challenged when a scientist wants to take him apart to create copies. Captain Jean-Luc Picard fights for Data's right to decide his own fate, while Commander William Riker is tasked with arguing against Data's autonomy. This episode was chosen for production due to the impact of a writer's strike in 1988. Snodgrass's script impressed the producers, leading to her recruitment as a staff writer and editor for the series. The Measure of a Man explores themes of slavery and the rights of artificial intelligence, echoing similar discussions in later episodes. It received positive feedback from both the cast and the crew, as well as from critics who consider it one of the best episodes of The Next Generation. An extended version with additional footage was released in 2012. Number 3. The Inner Light The Inner Light is a memorable episode from the fifth season of Star Trek The Next Generation, which aired on June 1, 1992. It was written by Morgan Gendel, inspired by the Beatles song of the same name and verses from the Tao Che Ching. In the episode, Captain Jean-Luc Picard experiences 40 years of life as Kamen, a scientist from a threatened planet. After being struck unconscious by an alien probe, despite only minutes passing for the crew, Picard lives a full lifetime in this alternate reality. This episode is highly praised by both critics and fans of the Star Trek franchise. It won the Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation in 1993 and features a memorable flute melody composed by Jay Chataway. The flute becomes a symbol for Picard throughout the series, and in Star Trek Picard. The Inner Light is considered a favorite among the cast and crew of the show, and the prop flute used in the episode was sold at auction in 2021 for a significant sum. The Inner Light holds a special place in the hearts of both actor Patrick Stewart, who portrayed Captain Jean-Luc Picard, and Star Trek writer Susan Sackett, despite not being one of her own creations. In 2011, io9 ranked it as the 8th best episode across all 6 television series in the Star Trek franchise. 
The episode's poignant portrayal of Picard's memories and his quiet moments playing the Resican flute in his cabin was recognized by The Hollywood Reporter in 2015, placing it as the fifth most stunning moment in Star Trek The Next Generation. Furthermore, in 2016, as part of the franchise's 50th anniversary celebration, The Inner Light received significant acclaim within the vast collection of 725 episodes, spanning over 30 seasons across the first six television series in the franchise. Number 4. In the Pale Moonlight In the Pale Moonlight is an episode from the sixth season of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, first aired on April 15, 1998. The series is set in the 24th century and follows the crew of Deep Space Nine during a conflict between the United Federation of Planets and the Dominion, an aggressive alien empire allied with Cardassia. In this particular episode, Captain Benjamin Sisko collaborates with former spy Alan Garrick to deceive the Romulans into joining the war against the Dominion. The episode is highly regarded by both fans and critics of the series and is often considered one of its finest episodes. It garnered significant viewership and remains a standout moment in the Deep Space Nine series. In the Pale Moonlight has garnered widespread acclaim from fans of the series. A survey conducted by Sci-Fi ranked it as the fans' favorite episode, while members of the official Star Trek fan club have consistently placed it among the top 10 episodes. Jay Garman of Tech Republic went as far as to label it the best episode of the entire series in 2012, praising its unique storytelling approach and depth. Similarly, Charlie Jane Anders ranked it as the seventh best episode across the entire Star Trek franchise in 2014, highlighting its significance in pushing Deep Space Nine into new storytelling territory. Lexi Watson, writing for Digital Spy in 2016, even ranked In the Pale Moonlight as the top episode of the entire franchise, emphasizing its exploration of moral dilemmas and its departure from conventional narratives found in other shows like Downton Abbey. Number 5. The Trouble with Tribbles The Trouble with Tribbles is an episode from the second season of Star Trek, first aired on December 29, 1967. It was written by David Gerald and directed by Joseph Pevney. This comedic episode follows the starship Enterprise as it visits a space station overrun by rapidly reproducing small furry creatures known as Tribbles. The inspiration for the episode is said to come from the short story Pigs as Pigs by Ellis Parker Butler. Although there are notable similarities to parts of the novel, The Rolling Stones by Robert A. Heinlein, leading to the producer seeking a waiver from the author. Following the success of the original episode, several follow-ups were produced. More Tribbles, More Troubles was initially pitched for the show's third season but was not accepted. However, it was later produced for Star Trek The Animated Series. Additionally, to commemorate the 30th anniversary of Star Trek in 1996, the Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, Trials and Tribulations, utilized digital techniques to integrate Deep Space Nine actors into the events of The Trouble with Tribbles. While the initial reception from fans was somewhat divided, the trouble with Tribbles found greater favor among the general audience. Critics responded positively to the episode, leading to a nomination for the Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation, although it ultimately lost to another Star Trek episode, The City on the Edge of Forever. Over time, it has garnered recognition in various Best of Episode compilations and collections, including inclusion in the Best of DVD collection, alongside three other notable episodes. Moreover, it has been made available as part of the Season 2 DVD box set for fans to enjoy. That's all about today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below.